hello i welcome you all again uh, in this course in today's lecture we are going to discuss about uh, some of the uh, structures uh, which uh, indeed we need for the building construction uh, so we will start uh, from the beginning uh, and uh, we need to know that building consists of different units or components so that uh, we will uh, see all these components one by one from the foundation and from the uh, superstructure from the substructure to the superstructure if we talk about the substructure we regarding to uh, bar bending schedule uh, we have uh, we started from the foundation and as i discussed already there are different type of foundations so in today's uh, lecture uh, we are only focusing on the uh, one type of the foundation uh, that is column footing uh, or isolated footing so let we are going to start uh, today's lecture so as you can see i have uh, i am using uh, auto rebar uh, in order to get the uh, quantity of the steel uh, so as you can see that uh, this is a footing and uh, this is the section and this is the table of bar bending schedule so what i will do now i will delete this and uh, i will start it from the beginning so that you will understand that how it is possible to uh, draw any drawing then we will get how we will get the uh, required bar bending schedule so i will select this and i will say it is deleted all the basics you need you already know that uh, what are the basic that is involved in order to uh, make the drawing in the AutoCAD so what I will do uh, for the footing I will consider that I have uh, 2 meter into 1.5 meter uh, area of the footing so in order to make such a rectangle you can use the command REC that is rectangle you will select a single point and then there is a specify i specify this point already and it is now saying that specify next corner so before specify the next corner because i need a required uh, dimensional rectangle so what i will do i need two meter uh, in the x direction and 1.5 meter in the y direction so i will write simply 2000 means uh, the unit set is in the millimeter so I will use 2000 2000 millimeter equal to 2 meters then I will press the comma and I will give the second dimension that is 1500 so as you can see this rectangle has already been drawn so we can check uh, the it's 2 meter and uh, from this side to this side we will use 1.5 meters okay so this is the very first thing we need to draw the rectangle then uh, we need to allocate the uh, concrete cover this we have discussed already in the case of footing we will take uh, the concrete cover is uh, 40 mm and unless otherwise mentioned so we are going to use it as a 40 mm so we will just write 40 mm and then select this rectangle and uh, click inside okay so as you can see this uh, basically concrete cover is being drawn what it means by concrete cover it means that the steel bar will be up to this length or width okay so this is now we already draw this uh, rectangle uh, this is now called as the footing okay so we can draw also the column if we require this one so most of the time the column is always in the center okay in order to look at the center it is uh, very easy and different methods you can draw any line that is going to the center okay now i am saying that the uh, size of the column is uh, 400 by 600 mm so i will just take offset that is 200 this side 200 this side and from this side 300 
this side 300 so I will just trim all the irrelevant lines trim this line these lines also and also this lines we can trim it okay so I also don't need this lens so I just simply delete all these lines okay so now this is the column as you can see inside so what we will do in the next step we will draw the dia uh, we will draw the bars uh, according to the our requirements in order to draw the bars we know that we have two kind of bars using in the footing that is in the x direction from this side to this side and the other is from the y direction consider this as a longer span and this is the shorter span okay so please remember this that this is a uh, longer span and that this is the shorter span so what we will do next how to draw the dial uh, how to draw the river i told you in the last classes so you just uh, need to load first the auto rebar once it has been loaded as you can see that i will take this draw a new rebar so i want to draw a new rebar just click this and i will mention the diameter that is 20 i will keep it uh, like this so i just press enter when i press enter i will draw the length okay from this corner up to the this corner as you can see now the bar has been already drawn now we will do same with other direction for the longer span so i will uh, use space or i will click this again so the same diameter we are going to use for the distribution bar or the top bar so i will just enter over here select the first point and click on the end point okay so these are the two basically steel bars we are going to use we don't need to draw all the steel bars over here from this line to this line or from this line to this line okay so what we have done that this steel bar has uh, placed in the equal distance center to center in both longer span and shorter span this we further show in the cross section so up to now just keep this into the mind that we have two bars one is going in the x direction and the other is going on the y direction this will be placed on the shorter direction and this will be placed on the longer direction okay so now we will draw the cross section in the cross section we need to know two dimensions first is length or breadth from which side or which face you are going to draw the cross section if you are in the longitudinal side it's mean it is the l section if you are going to other side that is called the cross section so first i am going to draw the longitudinal section and with the height of half meter footing okay so what i will do i will just take the reference line from here to here from the other side also here to here i will just draw a first line okay i have drawn this line already so what i will do i will just take the offset of half meter if it is half meter of the concrete so in my case it is 500 so i write 500 i just put enter and just i will take this offset upward okay now now i don't need this line so i just simply delete it okay so as you can see you can join these lines by using the command j and select all the points and now you can see it, it is now being joined okay we will using the same method but we used when we were draw drawing the plan of this drawing so so in this first step we will draw the concrete cover the concrete cover we will use the same method just we will take the offset command using off we will just mention that we have 40 mm diameter that is 40 as you can see this concrete cover has been drawn now so in next step we will just draw the bars over here 
so we will select the same command again the rebar we will follow this line okay so the diameter is 20 it must be same because uh, in our plan it is 20 so here it will also be 20 just enter over here just uh, select the first point second point third point and this is the fourth point